The next few minutes we'll discuss how the AC disconnect melts. We're going to look at the melting, the burning of it, and look at the causes for it. And then finally, I'll show you how I repaired it. I just cut that, that red line, but you notice it's really not hot and there it's melted. The causes for the disconnect melt. Electric charge has similar characteristics to large water or oil facilities. If you have large amounts of fluid running through a pipe and then you suddenly shut off that valve, there's a spike that occurs and goes reverses. And then for several kilometers away, you can have the flange break and if it's oil, you can have a fire. In an electrical system, when you have a coil, you have something similar occurring when the charge is shut off. You have a large charge and when the switch is disconnected there is this sudden reverse spike. It's instantaneous. Let's look at the air handler system. You have your fan, your disconnect, and you have your fan control. Now the fan control cycles the turning on of this charge and turning off. Here you turn it on, there's this rush that occurs until it stabilizes to the design of the fan. In my case it's 6.8 amps. Discharge occurs instantaneously. Now when the controller shuts off this charge, that's when you get this reverse spike. The spike is almost instantaneous and it's high, uh, it's high energy reversing. As the system cycles, if there's anything loose in the disconnect, the charge will heat up that loose connection and eventually it will burn and melt the, the plastic. First thing I try to do is to disconnect the wires and remove the disconnect from the wall. Can open that one up. Now let's see if I can get this one out. So there you go. Wow. The repair. Let's get to it. What I'm trying to do here is to uh, get the box out to remove the cables so I can strip back some of that to get to the good cable. Okay, the box is out now. I gotta pull it out. Pull out the wires from the box. See the nuts off. Now it's just pulling it out. Looks like it's going. Looks like you lost about that much of good wire. So we have to peel. So here. 
So that should do it. I'll give it a little extra. So you cut back a little of the covering. Then you connect the good wire to the uh, to the new disconnect and uh, follow the design of the disconnect. Make sure everything is tight when you connect your wires. I secure the box after I have most of the wires in there. That's because I like to uh, sit down and be comfortable while I'm connecting the, uh, the wires. This video provides guidance. Please look at the liability waiver. Always construct to the recent codes. And if you don't know what you're doing, get an electrician. Covers back on and the uh, disconnect is in on.